Good morning, y'all. This is Natasha. So, I am all done, but um, I had two little things I wanted to do, and I am going to uh, cure do this hair, this twisted hair. So, I wanted to see how the cure do really works on, you know, twisted, mini twist, that type hair. And these aren't mini twists, but there sure is a lot of twists. I haven't done a, this mini twist in a long time so i'm going to cure do this moisturize it and then as you can see behind me i'll be featuring swanky pickle boutique i'll be doing the um wild thing headband piece and that's what i'm going to be wearing today and um so let's cure do remember you can cure do on dry hair i twisted up my hair on I twisted my hair on um, Friday night and I haven't re-moisturized until this morning which is Tuesday and while I had these small twists in so Q-Redo is on and ready to go see that because the spaces between the cute the um, spikes are so big you can just go right through your twist. All right, and once you finish that, make sure you lock in that moisture again. The Q-Redo is great for moisture, but you still got to lock it in. And I'm just using my whipped shea butter. My hair, I had already... Um, Ate my hair in the bathroom because the q redo can be a little bit tedious when you have um, flat twist and your scalp really, really exposed. So um, what I did was just spray my hair. I can redo it. I can spray my hair or the ski ski. Rub that on there. Then just take the same and rub it on. That's how you would q redo with twist and um, when I was doing it I was thinking this would be really good for people who wear Senegalese twist and um, kinky twist because that's about the size of my twist they're about the size of uh, kinky twist and this lady made me feel so good yesterday she says that on your hair I said yes <laughs> oh, I thought that was, that was a nice little compliment from that all done then you bring out your featured accessory which is the wild thing delilah felt headband now when on your featured accessory when you got your 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 piece that you want everybody to see make sure that you don't overdo it with your earrings and don't overdo it with your necklace. Try to find your simplest pieces when it's something on your head that you want to really just pop, 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 pop all out, right? So, mine is this. So I have just plain old um, studs, pretty piece around on my neck, really plain and simple. I mean, these are all cute, but this is what you want to pop. So I'm going in to the side like this because I like to feed my headband under my hair because I don't like the headband to actually show. See that? See how you can't see my headband? It's down under my hair. So kind of like put it in as if you're feeding it under your hair. Or you can just put it right on top, blop. But I like it that way. It, to me, it just makes the um, accessorized portion of the headband just pop even more. And that's it, y'all. I just wanted to show, share that with y'all. Swanky Pickle Boutique um, hair accessory. Wild Thing. Delilah Felt Headband. And the Q-Redo. Alright, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.